just finished with my client such a nice guy gave him an energy massage and a little Reiki you know and um, I'm just feeling much better than I did the other day um, some things have transpired after my dream but for the most part I'm learning that I can heal myself from my own hands you know it's weird because I've been doing Reiki for some time now for a little over a year and I have never really thought about it when I go through certain things that I can heal myself I, I mean I know I'm a healer I'm a light worker but it's like when you're going through stuff you don't really focus on what it is that you can do for yourself and so I made a decision to just continue to use the healing modalities that I have within myself to heal myself. That doesn't mean that I'm exempt from going through and experiencing what people experience when they go through. Um, but it just means that I need to more, I need to maximize um, what I have within me and, and stay on the road to self-mastery. Because after my dream, I still had to deal with a few things that was kind of tough for me. It was a struggle. And um, this is my first Reiki treatment that I've done. And I would say maybe a few weeks. I would say about a month now, maybe a month and a half. And it just feels so good to be able to have the Reiki because when you're, when you're giving Reiki to someone, you're actually benefiting from it as well. And Reiki is a life force energy that you channel from the cosmos and the universe. And doc, a lot of people recognize Dr. Yusui as the person who founded Reiki, but Reiki was already here when the universe formed. We all have Reiki within us. But there's a certain way to use it that um, you can actually use it to heal others. So like when you hurt yourself or when your child falls, you kiss it, you kiss the boo-boo and it feels better or you rub it and it feels better. If you're in pain, you grab your stomach if your stomach hurts and just rubbing on it makes it feel better, right? That's a form of Reiki. But when you are, uh, when you are ordained by a Reiki master to be able to distribute Reiki to others, you actually have it maximized and it's more intense. And so what you do is you channel that energy, you channel that life force energy and it comes from you, through you, and it goes right to the other, you know, to the person that you're giving it. And then when you're working with Reiki symbols, Reiki symbols, um, the symbols are used as a protection. So when you do Reiki level two, you're working with symbols. Reiki level three, you just really work with one symbol, the master symbol. And then that's when you're able to attune others. You can Reiki food, you can Reiki um, someone that has anxiety, you can Reiki depression, any type of dis-ease, you can Reiki. Uh, you can also Reiki pets. You can send the Reiki um, through the airways of your long distance friend. You can Reiki your walls. Um, you can also open up stargates in your home where there is a certain type of portal that is there. It's an angelic portal and you can do that. It's kind of like Reiki as well, but you open up a portal in your home. I have not done that yet, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna open up a stargate here in my home for the portal to be open to the angelic beings and I'm going to channel the life force energy throughout the house as well. If you guys want to start the new year off with a with a great shebang and you want to be able to cleanse yourself, you want to be able to go into a spiritual a spiritual awakening zone, you would start with eating proper foods. You would start with eat or maybe doing a water fast or doing a juicing type of fast. Do your spiritual bath, cleanse your house, wipe down everything in your house with a Florida water. 
You can get that from your local botanica or your metaphysics shop. If you're not in the area and you need me to ship something to you, I can get you together with a spiritual bath. I do spiritual bath packages. I can get you together with a spiritual bath. You guys also want to be able to have protective crystals in your home. There are certain crystals that you can put in your home, in the corners of your home for protection. Um, protection candles and rituals that you can do before the new before the new year comes in. And the new year, the new moon is on Christmas. So you want to do that and you want to get yourself in a, in a good headspace and cleanse and clear your thoughts and all of that. So that when you go into the new year, you're not going into the new year with a whole bunch of tasks. I'm going to start this at the beginning of the year. No, you're going to start this now. Now. If you're a little like myself, you know, thin, and you want to make sure that you have some type of veggies or some type of something going into your system, start with uh, raw fruits. Just do all raw fruits or all, if that's too much sugar, you can do veggies. Just start with all veggies. So you want to do these things to get prepared for the new moon so that you can just sit there and you can resonate with the vibrations that you're that you're floating at on a higher frequency by having everything cleaned in your home, by doing your spiritual bath, by preparing yourself spiritually for this new moon. Please feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help. Thank you guys for tuning back into my channel. I love you guys. And please share this video if you know that there's someone that's going through something or if you stumbled across this video and you know that this must be a sign, then please feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help. I am sincere about that. This is what I've been doing my whole life. So I figure why not share it with the rest of the world? Please don't hesitate. Share, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Peace. Peace, love, and blessings. We're here at Whole Foods in my city. About to get my juicing on. Try this great juice that I like, you guys. I am having the deep green drink here with kale, spinach, cucumber, celery, lemon, and ginger. You guys, let's check it out. Okay, you guys, so this is my acai berry from the Amazon. And what I have here is just some regular blueberries some shredded coconuts, some shredded coconuts, some dried um, bananas, and some cacao um, bites. So guys, this is going to be so yummy. I'm so excited about it. And then here's my other drink that I was telling you guys about it, the deep green. So I'm so excited about trying this, you guys. And I'm gonna let you know how good it tastes. I had this before. Thank you. I had this before, but I didn't share it with you guys. But this is so good. The only problem is it's cold. It's really cold. But it's delicious. This is my breakfast. So guys, I have the red clover here. This red clover is gonna be a part of my cleanse. This also helps clear the skin. It helps with the female reproductive system and things of that na nature. I have my elderberry syrup here, you guys. Here at Whole Foods. Let me show you this. Again, close up to this. Elderberry, uh, this is a red clover here. That was elderberry. And here is the dandelion root here. Dandelion tea, guys. From and I'll put all the information about what these particular herbs do in the video. I just want to show you this real quick. 
This helps with your stool issues and things of that nature. This also helps you with mucus as well. So if you're having a lot of mucus and you're trying to uh, cleanse yourself from that, this right here, cascara, this is a capsule. This is really good for you. It's healthy to help you with that. This is at 9.5. Then I'll be able to do a whole gallon if I try my hardest to complete one of these a day because I struggle with trying to have a gallon of water a day. So I'm doing a fast for nine days into the new year. I can do it. New year normally comes really quick after Christmas. You know guys? So I have all of my detox and clean cleansing herbs here. The ones that I'm going to purchase. There's a, a lot of other ones I'm supposed to get, but I'm starting out with this because it's kind of pricey. Um, like I showed you guys, I have the red clover, the dandelion, the, the elderberry. It's gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a struggle, but I'm really gonna try my hardest to complete this fast nine days guys I really want to so we'll see how things go